Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my little room here at the Willow House, 507 Willow House Journals. I'm glad that you're here, and I hope that you'll like and subscribe my, to my channel. Um, it may be a little shaky to get off the out the gate, but but I, we're gonna figure it out. I'm determined to figure this out. So, um, like and subscribe. Tell everybody you know to like and subscribe to 507 Willow House. We'll um. Hopefully, we'll have a really good time. I'm having fun. I don't know about y'all. But I wanted to share my latest journal with you. I've, I've been working on it for for a little while, and I've, I've had to rework it, work it again, rework it, until I just got it like I wanted it. You know, sometimes you have to you have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it just, just so. I love that vintage um, satin ribbon. Cream colored, it's beautiful. Got a, made a little journal, just a little bit of a writing spot. I think these are so pretty with um, the vellum. I love vellum and polka dots. You know I love polka dots. I thought that was just beautiful. It fit, seemed to just fit perfectly right on the top there. Now this girl, is, this is chunky, look. I can't, I can't help myself, y'all. Um. It's like I'm out of control. It's it's like I'm an out of control journal maker. Y'all hang with me. It's not unusual for me to be out of control a little bit, but um, anyway, I I they my some of them just gonna be chunky. Got a little journaling card here. Just stitch right in there. And again, beautiful image from Nicola at Paper Cameo. She just does beautiful digitals. Oh, there's our girls. You know, they're they're sitting back on the tree line doing a little bit of sip sip on the wine. Church picnic that happens here in the south. Beautiful. I love this pretty little, I love this little um, vintage button. I got this from Jane Ferguson at Black Sheep wools not no black sheep yarn i get all my buttons from her little bit of a fold out here more of that beautiful soft buttery feeling vintage song book i think it's really really pretty i think it adds a lot of just a lot of vintage that's one of my favorite colors is vintage I'm trying not to talk too much, but I can't guarantee. I, I've never made any guarantees on not talking too much. I love to put these together. I, I feel like if I've got a spot that just needs a little something, something, I put one of those together and, and put it there. I think it's really, I think they add a lot. Whether you ever write in them or not, they sure look pretty. That's uh, that's my opinion. That's what I'm thinking anyway. I love this image. This is from um, Cotton and Twig, I do believe. I think these are the prettiest little flowers, the lily of the valley. I, I absolutely love them. This has got the rose and lily of the valley. And if it had an iris on there, it would have all three of my... Well... I like a daffodil too. Now I, I do. So if I had all four of those on there, that'd be perfect. Uh, but I, you know, I will tell you, I love Queen Anne's lace too. Now it, down here in the south, you can find Queen Anne's lace. It just grows on the side of the roads. And I, I thought we were about like the south was the only place that you could find a Queen Anne's lace. It's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful plant. Um, but Heather at uh, Ruby and Pearl, I heard her on one of her videos. She said that they have it up there also. She lives in Pennsylvania, so I didn't know it grew that far up. But um, did you know that the that Queen Anne's Lace is actually uh, a weed? It's like from, um, it's a, it's a carrot. Now, that's what I heard. It's a, it's a form of a carrot. Now, and I, I I know if you pull it up, it kind of has that look to it, the roots of it, 
but I thought that I probably should have Googled that before I started talking about it. I'm, I'm going to Google that. I'll try to let y'all know if I don't forget. Another little, um, little booklet. I love this one. This is, um, I love this vintage button. I only got a few of these in, and I've, I've used several of them. I think I might have one left. But I, I love it against that little bit of a black tool. So pretty. There's one my really good coffee dyed with the polka dots. I love that. I love this beautiful, beautiful paper. I think that's Italian. I think that's it came in one of the first first packages I got of paper that I ordered from Rachel at Roxy Creations. And y'all, look at that. I thought that was absolutely beautiful. I hope I've got this centered just right so you can see this beautiful this beautiful print. This is from um this is from Heather at ruby and pearl and I thought this would be the absolute perfect center for this signature of the journal isn't that beautiful I love this I don't think I'll ever be able to pass up a page in a in a journal without touching it and feeling of it and listening to it a little bit I don't think I'll ever be able to do that I'll try it but I don't think it'll happen my little book popped off of there, but that's okay. I was going to show it to you anyway. These are uh, sweet little books. Little, little beauties. Got another little, um, little pen with some, some pearls beads on it. Pearls are my favorites. I love pearls. I love, I love vintage buttons. Um, I don't know the names of them. I don't always realize the recognize the materials that they're made out of. But I'll tell you who does. Pam at Pandora's Junk Journals. Now she, she does. She can tell you about about buttons. She makes the most divine snippet rolls. Oh my, slow stitch snippet rolls. Y'all go check it out. She does a beautiful job. And she talks about buttons a lot on her when she's when she's showing her snippet rolls. They're just beautiful. I would love to have one one day. That's a dream of mine. Sweet little another little book with this in this little belly band. This one I this one's pro, I love this. This is a, a little book, but look at those little millinery. Mil, I can't even say it. Millinery flowers. I hope I'm saying that right. I try to uh, I'm, I try to I try to channel my inner Coco Chanel, but I, it just I don't think that Coco Chanel had a southern accent, and it's hard to sometimes it's hard to speak other than southern. You know what I'm saying? I just thought this was sweet anyway. I love this book. That's some more of my cabbage dye on a different little tin that had a had a different design on it. I thought it came out so pretty. Uh, this is so pretty to me. This um this journaling card, y'all look at this. This is made. Uh, Catherine at Cre uh, created by Catherine's made this. Y'all look, she makes these. This is um. She puts, you know, paper, and she puts out her, her. She does some stitching on it, and she puts out the puts down these little fibers of uh, little threads and fibers off of different materials from different projects that she makes, and then she stitches that down. Then she'll put this. Uh, this is the prettiest little piece of fabric. I cannot remember what this is. It's just like a real thin. You can see through it. It's got a little bit of shine to it, like almost like it's got glitter on it. Y'all, my middle name is Glitter. I love glitter. But then she encases it all, and and that isn't that beautiful. I just think it's so pretty. I love. I I got several of those far from her. She has them every now and then in her 
journal shop. Catherine, you need to make you some more of these because people are going to want them. People are going to want them after seeing them. They're, they're just all five people that are watching my video are going to want some. <laughs> Got tickled at myself, y'all. Can't help it. Thought this was pretty. And look, this just pops off. I just made that. I just threw it together. I do that a lot. Some of the best things I... <laughs> I get to... Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm kind of tired. A little bit delirious, I'm thinking. But I think some of the best things I've probably made are thrown together. You know, it's kind of like Mom always said, the messy, messiest cooks are the best cooks. Well, I'm a messy, messy cook. I'm not necessarily the best, but I'm a messy one. That's for sure. I've used a lot of digitals in here from, from a lot of different different shops. I think this is Ida Jane. I may have some in here from Ain't Dots. Y'all go check Ain't Dot and Ida Jane. They're so they have some really pretty digitals. Of course, I've got Paper Cameo. I've got this is Ruby and Pearl. I've got Rachel from Roxy Creations. If I've left you out, I sincerely apologize. I don't I don't mean to forget it. Forget I would forget my own name if I hadn't written it since I was in kindergarten. I'm not even kidding. I would forget my own name. Sometimes I do. Almost. This is Ida Jane's, I believe. And y'all look, it's a little book. It's a little book inside my journal. It's a little journal in my journal. And I put a little belt, not really a journal. It's just a flippy around. Got, but I got a belly band and got this sweet little ensemble in there. Did y'all like it? I was trying to, I don't know what accent that was or what word that may have come from what language, but anyway, I threw that out there for you. I thought this was real sweet. Look what I did on the back. It's a little glassine bag and I, I collaged a little bit on it, but y'all, look at that. Isn't that sweet? I, I know that stamp had to have come from Jane at at Blue Willow Vintage, I've ordered a Kajian stamps from her. But I thought, when that, look, y'all, that's upside down. You had to turn you, whoever gets this journal down is going to have to turn that upside down and look at it and then turn it back away, around. And keep moving on. That's what we're going to do, keep moving on. I thought this was just so cute. And I love this. Y'all, look at this. This is made on that vintage tin, and it's cabbage dye. This is cabbage dye. I don't know how I came up with this beautiful color. It was total accident. I can promise you that. But I thought it was the most exquisite color. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, my little bit of shorthand for my mama. Another little, now this is a little journal. I can't help it. I can't help but to make these. I feel like every time there's a little, a little um, spot that needs a little something, I, I just make one of these and put it in there. I think it's, I think it adds a whole lot. A little bit of a journaling card. Got plenty of journaling space on it. Well, girls, y'all, this, listen. Oh, I love that sound. This is my journal. Like I said, she's a little bit of a chunk, but that's I, I, I just like making them. It's one signature, just all blown up, one signature. But I hope that you've liked, liked see, looking through. I hope that you'll um, come back. As soon as I get my Etsy shop set up, I'll get her listed, but I wanted to go ahead and do a flip through on her because I, you know, I, I, I just want to, I want to uh, share share what I'm making with you. And I don't think I'll ever be an instructor of any kind in here on the YouTube because I'll tell you why. I'll get to talking and maybe, you know, telling you this or that or the other. And then I'll really get off on a, a chase a rabbit and go total squirrel and I forget what I said, and then I forget what I'm doing, and it just becomes a, a whole big old mess, and I don't know. I, I 
can't even follow myself half the time. I don't know how I'd teach anybody else to follow me. So um, I don't know that I'll ever be, be a uh, come craft with me or anything like that because I just fly by the seat of my pants. And that, that sometimes I think though that's the best that's the best creative state to be in is just flying by the seat of your pants. Y'all come back though, um, like a uh, like and subscribe and come back and spend time with me. Hopefully I'll have another video up tomorrow. I don't know what it'll be like. I've got a couple of more journals over here that I'm I'm working on, but um, y'all come back and spend some time with me here at the Willow House. I sure do appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. I hope you're having a great day. Bye, y'all.